Mr. Clown here for Clown Maths. So today we're going to do National 5 Maths, completing the square. I'm going to go through all the steps for completing the square and why it might be useful. And then once I do quadratics, which will be later, and drawing graphs of quadratics, you'll see the power of this because it allows you to find different things on the graph of the quadratic. But before we get into this, let's take a word from our sponsors. Clever Maths is sponsored by Lecky, the educational publisher for Scotland. Today we're going to look at practice workbooks for National 5 and Higher Maths. These are just £5.59 when you use the discount code CLEVERMAFS at lakeyscotland.co.uk and these are excellent because they have lots of questions topic by topic by topic. So as you're working through the year, you can revise and practice any topic you want and make sure you are comfortable with that topic. But also when it gets towards exam season, a practice exam paper right at the end to make sure you're ready for your exams. Just £5.59 when you use the discount code CLEVERMAFS. The links are in the description and down below. So example one, it says express x squared plus 10x plus 28 in the form x plus p squared plus q, which is completing the square form. And it's quite a nice method this. All you do is you draw a single bracket and write squared. You've got x squared, x, and it says plus 10x, so you have the 10 to make 5. And now you've got an immediate thing to do. You need to take away 5 squared, because if you think about it, 5 fives is 25. So I'm going to be over by 25 if I still got 28 on the end. And that's how I kind of work out what my last number is. I write that plus 28 first, so I take away the 25 because I'm over by that. So now I can just work that out. x plus 5 all squared. 28 minus 25 is 3, so plus 3. Later on you'll learn that that tells you something. It tells you the turning point. The turning point is given to you by these two numbers. And it's minus 5 because it makes the bracket 0 and 3. So it tells you the turning point if you have to draw the graph or state the turning point. Example 2, express x squared plus 6x plus 1 in the form x plus a squared plus b. So again, x plus half of 6 is 3, all squared. I immediately take away 3 squared, which is 9, but I've got plus 1. x plus 3 all squared, minus 9 add 1 is minus 8, and we're done there. Example 3, x squared minus 2x plus 5, don't be worried about that, minus 2x. We're just going to do x take away 1, all squared. Now, when you do 1 squared, you get 1. When you do minus 1 squared, you also get 1. You just do the number squared. 1 squared is 1, so I'm going to take away 1. I've still got plus 5 on the end. So that's x minus 1, all squared. 5 minus 1 is 4, so I've got plus 4. And we're done there. So remember, if you want any extra help with any of this stuff, remember I've got a members-only channel for £4.99. Just click Join Now, and I do regular live streams and some lots of extra stuff and extra content to help you get on your way. If you find that useful, click the link and join now. x squared minus 4x minus 9 in the form x plus a squared plus b. So same idea. x half of 4 is 2, minus 2 squared. 2 twos is 4, so I'm taking away 4, but I've still got minus 9. So a bit of negative number work here. x minus 2 squared minus 4 minus 9 is minus 13. Let's do another one. x squared plus 5x minus 1 in the form x plus p squared plus q. Oh, that's a little bit tricky. So we've got some fractions coming in here. It won't happen too often, don't worry. But you've got x plus 5 divided by 2. Well, you can do it as a fraction or a decimal. I'll do it as a fraction. 5 over 2 squared. I need to take away that squared. Well, 5 squared is 25, and 2 twos is 4. And I've got minus 1 left, so I've got this nasty thing to deal with, but that's okay. I've got x plus 5 over 2 squared, minus 25 over 4, and then the same denominator, 4 over 4. So that'll be x plus 5 over 2 all squared. 25 minus 25 minus 24 is minus 29 over 4. Or you could leave that as decimals if you prefer. x squared minus 9x plus 3 in the form x plus p squared plus q. So we've got x minus 9 over 2 squared. Immediately take away that squared, so 9 nines is 81. 2 twos is 4. But I have to add 3. Well, how do I add 3 to a fraction? Well, we've got minus 81 over 4. 3 is 3 fours is 12. So 12 over 4. So x minus 9 over 2 squared, minus 8, 81 plus 12, oh that's minus 71, minus 70, minus 69 over 4. So it's minus 69 over 4, and we're done there. Now we get into the turning points. Find the coordinates of the turning point of this graph. It doesn't tell us how to do it, 
There's two ways to do it, and one way is completing the square. So I complete the square, and I get x minus 4 squared. Take away 4 squared, 16, and add 5. y equals this. So y equals x minus 4 squared minus 16 plus 5 is minus 11. So imagine turning point. If I was to take this number as being 4, before, after, a number after 4, I'd get 5, 6, 7, 8, and keep getting bigger. And a number before 4, I would get like 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. But when you square that, you get positive numbers. So it's going to go like that. At 4 is where it's going to turn, because 4 minus 4 is 0. It's the smallest it ever is. So that means that the turning point, I'll call it TP, is 4. And the number, when it's 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, is negative 11. So it's negative 11. A quick way to remember this is, you change the sign on the first thing, but you leave the sign the same on the second thing. So the turning point. X squared National 5 Maths, 2014 paper 1 question 3. I've got x, minus, x squared minus 14x plus 144, x minus a squared plus b, so x minus 7 all squared. Take away the 49, but I've got plus 44, so that's x minus 7 squared. Minus 49 plus 44 is minus 5. And we're done there. Example 9, S squared National 5 Maths, 2016, paper 2, question 9. Express x squared plus 8x minus 7 in this form. x plus 4 all squared. 4 4 is 16, so I'll take it away. And then I've still got to take away 7. x plus 4 all squared. Minus 16, take away 7 is minus 23. So we're done there. Example 10. X squared National 5 Maths, 2019, paper 2, question 10. X squared plus 10x minus 15. X, add 5 squared, take away 25 then, 5 fives, but I've still got minus 15. X, add 5 squared, minus 40. And we're done there. Example 11, X squared National 5 Maths, 2022, paper 1, question 5. Express it in the form X plus A squared, and hence I state the turning point of the graph. So, Part A, x plus 4 all squared. I need to take away 16 straight away, but I've got plus 15. So that's x plus 4 all squared. 15 minus 16 is minus 1. Part B, the turning point is easy. Because you just look at your numbers. It's going to be 4 and it's going to be minus 1. But the sign changes on the first one. So it's minus 4, minus 1. And one done there. Let's go National 5 Maths 2025, paper 1, question 9. The diagram shows a parabola with the equation of the form x plus a squared plus b. It says find the value of a and b. So all you need to remember is that one changes sign, so it's minus 3, so it changes back to 3. And this one does not change sign, so it's still just minus 5. So b is minus 5. And we're done there. Mr. Clown here for Clown Maths today with the National Fire Maths completing the square. All the techniques you needed to be able to do that and do it well. Hopefully you find that useful. Take care, stay safe, and see you soon.